Hello, it's Mike here at Game from Scratch, and today I'm going to talk about the uh, Blender 2.8 Code Quest. Uh, now, what exactly is that? Well, in a nutshell, it's a fundraiser. And normally this isn't the kind of thing I talk about here, but um, two exceptions. First off, this is a cool fundraiser. I really am behind what they're trying to accomplish with it. Uh, two, you get some cool swag out of it. And three, this is all leading towards Blender 2.8. And I am desperately waiting for Blender 2.8. I'm not involved with the Blender project at all, except as an engaged user. Uh, but I did check out an early uh, release of Blender 2.8, and we're talking early, like very crash-worthy release. But it's huge release. So you can check out this video. I will link it down below. It is pretty awesome what's coming. And from the, the views you can see here, the likes, this is a popular thing to be coming. So people want Blender 2.8 to come. And one of the biggest reasons is no doubt the EV um, real-time PBR renderer. And it's staggering how much better that is than the uh, existing um, uh, viewport technology in the current Blender. So I am personally very excited to see Blender 2.8 come. The problem is Blender 2.8 itself is very, um, there's a lot of foundational changes that's very disruptive. It's, so it's going to take a very long time for them to all work things out. And one of the biggest problems with the Blender team and probably open source teams in general is that it's so disparate. People are spread all over around the world. And when you're trying to collaborate on fundamental low level changes or usability across the entire application, that doesn't work so well with the spread out team. So that's exactly what the 2.8 Code Quest um, project is trying to do. What they're trying to do basically is bring all of the uh, team together to try and get 2.8 done as fast as possible. And what that means is bringing everyone together in Amsterdam from the core team, so the, the um, the team leaders for each particular portion or fundamental developers to key portions of Blender 2.8. We're going to try and get them all together in Amsterdam for at least three months, provide all of them room and board and places to work, etc. And they're all going to work on these tasks full time and trying to get um, Blender 2.8 out as fast as possible. So basically, here's all the people they're trying to bring together. And it kind of goes around some of the very um, core development things in 2.8. So number one, as I mentioned earlier, is EV, uh, the new viewport rendering technology. And another huge big change is the grease pencil changes, enabling you know, all kinds of stuff. But a lot of it is there's full 2D animation support coming in Blender 2.8 as well. And then you've got core developers. Um, and then they're also bringing in a UI guy. And then they've got their they're key people from that are basically full time on it. And that's why it's, they're bringing them all into Amsterdam is the Blender uh, founder basically is based out of Amsterdam. So I think that's where the core team already exists. So they're gonna bring all of the most important people together for the 2.8 release, put them in together in one room, um, you know, go for three months or more, just try and get as much out of it as they can. And their goal is Blender 2.8 beta uh, by Q3 2018. And I would love to see that. Uh, especially for game developers, people following on this channel, the PBR workflow is the future. And when you see it in our action, again, watch that video, you'll understand why I'm so excited by this. And again, PBR is also the way that game engines are all working now too. So this really is the future and it does need to happen. Uh, but on top of that, there's another big thing here. The rest of this is sort of meh, but uh, also coming together and making a Blender 101 simple config for occasional users. Now, one of the biggest complaints that Blender gets is usability or accessibility. And there's a lot of foundation in that. You know, no 3D application is really easy to, to learn or to use. But Blender is probably amongst the hardest of them out there, at least until you start to really grok the way things work. So them making an accessible configuration is just brilliant. So I'd love to see that happen as well, but really what I wanna see out of this is the Blender 2.8 release. And what they're aiming for is about 200 to $250,000. And when you figure the size of the Blender community, the number of people involved in behind it, they should probably be able to make this work, but they went one step further. And it's not just here, give us money. Um, there's actually four, they're trying to sell a thousand rockets. And that's kind of a cool little bit of swag. And they're selling these eight gigabit USB keys that are in Blender rocket form. And <laughs> I think it's just the cutest thing ever. Uh, but basically it will, if you sponsor them for 40 bucks US or 35 Euro rounding off, um, you get the USB rocket as a thank you token. Uh, and then on top in that rocket, there's a bunch of EV uh, rendering scenes as well as some of the Blender movie files. Um, so it's just kind of a cool perk on top. Uh, it'll be shipping out in April. And like I said, if they can sell a thousand of them, 
uh, then they're pretty much good to go and this can start and hopefully then we'll see Blender 2.8 um, next year. Uh, but as you can see, they're just sort of uh, starting out, which is part of why I made this video. Again, Blender is important enough to the open source game dev community. You could almost argue it is one of the most important projects out there. Um, I would definitely put it top five anyways. So I figured this was definitely worth sharing, giving a little bit of exposure to. Uh, so it's available at uh, blender.org forward slash two dash eight forward slash quest. Again, I will throw that link down below along with that other video link. Uh, so the first one shows you how to get excited. The second one shows you uh, what you can do if you are excited. Uh, I'll probably be picking one of these up. Um, I don't sponsor too many things, but again, like I mentioned, Blender is that important. Um, it, it's my weapon of choice, and if it's your weapon of choice too, trust me, you want Blender 2.8 to happen, and you want it to happen soon. And I think getting the whole team together to work in one environment really could move this forward. And it's something I'd like to actually, if this works out, it would be cool to see other major open source projects do the same thing. Get Godot together, do a big sprint of people physically together, and see you know how much faster you can get things done. But this is definitely uh, cool development, uh, something I thought I would share. Again, all the links will be down in the description below. Hope you found that useful. Hope you're into the Blender uh, project. If you are, again, do check out the 2.8 video. You will be just staggered with how much better it is going to be. And hopefully that will inspire you to want to help them out on this. So that is the uh, Blender 2.8 CodeQuest fundraising project. Uh, cool thing, as you saw, they're just starting out. So hopefully we can uh, help them get closer to that goal. All right, that's it for now. I will see you all later. Goodbye.